club of the all England colors of the all England club in London, which is Wimbledon. Let's see John McEnroe with that shoulder rotation, moves his hips through the ball and hits the top spin. The little American twist, first serve, slice. He's really good at that first ball because he's got such great rotation on his hips and his shoulder. 15 all first game. Now one interesting point that we didn't see all week. A lefty is serving to a lefty. So in the matchups, McEnroe is going to be serving to Connors' forehand, which is Connors' weaker shot. Connors will be serving to McEnroe's forehand, which is McEnroe's better shot. So it's an interesting matchup with the two lefties playing against each other. No no is no that more difficult guard. for a left-hander to face a left-hander since they theoretically wouldn't see as many of them? Well, they're certainly not used to it. Swing volley to get McEnroe off balance quickly, but he missed it. 40-15. And McEnroe now serving at 40-15. Pretty impressive font. Uh, a look at that 8-3 advantage over Jimmy. He likes playing him indoors. Game McEnroe wins the first game of the finals for John McEnroe. We're back after this. This is the first point of the second game. The forehand Connors, it is a low trajectory oftentimes. It hits the net. Rarely does he hit it over the baseline. Mary, I know you spoke with Connors earlier in the week about how the new racket has impacted his serve. Yes, and he's, he feels that uh, overall it's helped it a lot. Not as much on the first serve as his second. He says with all that extra string room, he gets more spin on his second serve. yesterday after the semis he's going to hit a lot of balls from the baseline and have some long rallies watch jimmy connors here in that left-handed serve short toss hooks his body in his shoulder and finishes inside the baseline trying to get his weight distribution sure has been a lot around a long time and though he's gone a couple of years without winning a title he's tried a lot he's played 30 tournaments without winning he wants this one Play by John. He gets the floater coming in and nails it. But that statistic on uh, there of 105 points. That's Grand Prix tournament play. Let's see watching John here. Just such lovely movement. John sees the opportunity and ends it at the net. I'm a little surprised John wants to hang around on the baseline and trade ground strokes with Jimmy. I'm sure he knows that Jimmy's been floating some of them out. But I think John should just go in and attack and try to take this guy down. 15-30. Oh, that's a wonderful Back. run by John. And no doubt Jimmy was a bit surprised. 15-40. Really was a remarkable play. John had to run the full length of the court. As you can see, he waited before Jimmy declared himself and made a bold run, went down the line for a desperation winner. Break point. 
now 30 40. Last point showed the great quickness of McEnroe where he can cover the entire court in a few strides and still make a offensive shot. Big chance for John here, 30 40. Set. We saw that serve work so well for Jimmy Connors, that big swing wide to Andrew Giarrett. But as you said earlier, Donald, that's going to John's forehand. He just flicked that thing off like a toothpick. He just met the ball perfectly. And Jimmy is serving into his strength. Oh! Love. Ooh, great service motion. McEnroe really disguises that ball. Connors can't read which side it's coming from with the rotation of his shoulders. And John looks much more like a lefty when he serves than does Connors, I think, because he uses his body a lot more in his serve than does Jimmy. That was the third ace already. John McEnroe with which is the low first volley and then the second backhand volley where he backs it up. Just a little punch shot there. Had the whole court. And he is really off to a quick start here. Serve at love and he leads three love first set. <laughs> 